Hello, this will be another video about this Vivitar action camera. This time, we will, we will be talking about the ability of this camera to record videos underwater. So we have the underwater housing right here. Just remember that if you have this camera, you must use the underwater housing in order to, to better protect your camera. I would not recommend using the camera underwater without the underwater housing. Now, that's not to say that this is going to guarantee that your camera is going to be completely waterproof no matter how you choose to submerge the camera this is just giving you a better chance of having a waterproof camera I'm, of course i'm not going to guarantee that your experience is going to be the same with uh, same as my experience but with my experience i did submerge the camera underwater in a pool uh, as you're going to see momentarily with this footage that we're going to show you in the next part of this video um it it, it for me it, it served its purpose very well i did not notice the uh any leaking into the uh, through the underwater housing. So for me, it worked very well. But again, just keep in mind that this is just my own experience with this device. I'm not going to make any promises um, for your device when you submerge the camera underwater. So the underwater housing is supposed to help this camera to be waterproof. When I took it in the water today, um, swam around with the camera for 10 or 15 minutes, everything seemed to be fine. So I'm very happy with it. Me personally, I do like this camera. We had the image stabilization on at 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second with the underwater housing on, and I didn't notice any problems, so I'm just going to say I'm very happy with it. What you're going to see shortly is the uh, footage we recorded, that we recorded underwater with a 1080p 30 frames uh, per second image stabilization. That is an option here, so that's what we had. Enable the image stabilization uh, so you can just see for yourself, decide for yourself if you think the quality looks good, and if you're interested in purchasing this camera, you can just search for Vivitar on Amazon. So we had the EIS enabled for 1080p 30 frames per second. Image stabilization. Underwater with the underwater housing, there's also some accessories that optional accessories like the underwater, like the floating handle. You can attach that to your camera using some of the mounts included. There's an extra battery. There's a, a 64 gigabyte micro SD memory card, which is included, which is phenomenal. Uh, unboxing video uh, separately on this channel does cover the accessories in more detail and what's inside of the box. But for now, this is just some underwater footage captured with this Vivitar camera. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. The underwater sample footage will follow. Uh, for me, it worked very well. There was no leaking um, after using the camera underwater for around 15 minutes. Um, that's just my own personal experience. Um, yeah, underwater test footage will follow with the Vivitar action camera.
sure, for sure. I mean, if it's interesting enough. If I can take the turn and I'll bring it to the Yeah, it looks better now. 